Yesterday was Moose Knuckle Monday. Let's never do that again. Some of y'all ain't got the pH balance for it. Over here pulling up your pants so we can see your loose knuckle. Why am I seeing spots and smelling things? Don't think I should be doing that. <laughs> I say BV. Y'all all got it. <laughs> Man, no, for real. Chill out with the clamage. Okay, I could go on for days. No, nah, but for real. Uh, for the people that did look good taking a picture, I got you for three minutes. You ain't going nowhere. No, nah, for real, though. Uh, Yeah, Glorilla started something. Because that's just going to be keep on going and going. It's going to be that one picture by somebody that think they are young enough for the trend. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop it all. It's going to be real nasty, big nasty, real bod. So for you guys that don't know, man, uh, looks like Glorilla and another female rapper, I think it was, I think it was Ice Spice, but whoever it was, they went to the internet and they posted really close up selfies with their, you know, their Moose Knuckle showing. And they pretty much deemed it Moose Knuckle Monday. Now, this is absurd. And I think... All jokes aside, all that was funny and it's all joking friendly, but he had a valid point, man. Um, damn, you know, it's a big eye opener because you're gonna get that one picture that's really gonna just take the whole world for a spin and it's gonna ruin someone's life, straight up, because of this stupid challenge. And I know for a fact, if Megan Thee Stallion can start a challenge, they can start something, all right? It's gonna happen, all right? And somebody gonna get their feelings hurt, straight up. Men fumble the women that ask for things that cost nothing, like time, attention, affection, honesty, communication. Like that may seem like it's too much to ask, but in a world full of begging females today, if you have that type of female that's asking for things that money cannot buy and you fumble her, you will regret it. You will miss her, I promise you will it may seem like too much now but when she's not there to ask for it anymore you will see i promise look at the end of the day man she uh has a really good point dude really good point and as much as i wanted to find something in there to go ahead and attack because right now it, I, I can't right so we always talk about the things that we do want as men and what we don't want from women is them asking us to buy them stuff asking us asking us to pay their bills right asking us to to get this for them and do this for their kids that's not you know not even your kids but when you do come across a woman that's just want to say hey can we take a walk in the park all right can you uh, hug me a little bit longer? Can you cuddle with me today? Those are the type of women that you probably want to keep around, man. Don't form a woman like that, bro. They, they don't come too often, bro. They don't come too often. And I get it. The world is tricky, all right? You've been through a lot of women and a lot of beggars and a lot of askers and a lot of women that, you know, as soon as you ask their name, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So I get it, man. But the real ones, the intangibles is the stuff that you need to look out for. If a woman is really looking for intangible stuff, you know, the things that you really can't buy or see or touch or feel, that's the that's the ones you keep around. Bitch, ain't no relationship with our rules. If you want all the freedom in the world, be single. You think you finna come over here playing? Oh, heavens no. Ho is strict over here. <laughs> real shit. Name one person that honestly believes they can be in a relationship without having any rules, standards, or uh, codes to follow. Come on, let's, be, let's just be honest. So I just woke up to this this morning. Um, Sydney destroyed the wall last night of her brand new mobile home. I'm trying to wake her up. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. My fiance is going to be so mad. She, she, I guess, she, I don't know how she did it. She was stimming and broke the wall. This is life of profound autism, destruction of property, and violence every day. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, Man, this is, uh, yeah, man. You know, word to that guy. This is why you don't date single moms right now. See, now you got your brand new property destroyed by someone that a child that's not even yours. For what? Because you love the mom so much. But obviously, her child has something against you in the house that you didn't put her in. So, yeah, man, be careful. Yeah, be careful about that. So let me tell y'all how I went on a date and found out he was a Uber driver. 
So, I met this man on Instagram, right? So, I met him. We started chit-chatting in DM, you know, typical conversation. So, then I see my friend is following him. So, of course, I send his Instagram to my homegirl. And I'm like... So, I'm going to go ahead and speed the story up for y'all so y'all can know what's going on before I get my little piece. So... She asked her friend, basically, you know, how she know the dude. She says, I don't know. He might have been my Uber driver. And then after that, she's like, are you sure? And then uh, ultimately, she ends up going on a date with the dude. During the date, she ends up asking him if he's an Uber driver. And he says yes. Um, and then after that, she says she wasn't interested because she's not trying to date a dude who's an Uber driver. Uh, he's 48 and an Uber driver. And so she's looking for someone who's more established. Here's my take on that. At 48... Okay, kind of suspicious to drive Uber, but still, I made $100,000 on Uber last year. I can actually bag that up as well. Women be really sleep on a lot of guys just because of the title of their job. And what's going to happen is they're going to wind up hitting a wall later on in their life. She's 33 right now and her standards are way too high. And I bet you in about three to four years when that wall is like right there in her face, she's going to be like, man, you know what? That Uber driver was a really good dude. All right. And don't sleep on Uber drivers, man. Look, you've seen those prices lately and those fees and boys racking up some money. And I can't even I can't even blame them, man, for getting out there and hustling. Yeah, I get it. All right. It's not a career job. I get it, but don't women don't pass up a good dude just because he's an Uber driver, right? That doesn't make any sense, all right? Men are not as picky, man. To be honest with you, you can be uh, the cashier at Chick fil A for all we care, and we still my wife, all right? Women, 33, get a hold of yourself, bro. And, and, and to be honest with you, she's probably not even doing well herself anyway. The reason why she wants someone that's established is because she don't, she's tired of working and she don't want to be independent and strong anymore. If you ask that man for something and he say no, you never talk to him again. Y'all be like, how you ask him for money? How you ask him for money? You just ask. Simple. Hey, babe, my nails clean. Think you'll pay for him? He say no, you disappear. Has it ever occurred to you that you need a man to tell you no? Like like let's 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 just dial it back some like 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 let's just keep it real have you ever realized that you do things too much for yourself you spend too much money you you don't have self-control okay you don't have good money management you don't have this you know like discipline in some areas that a man is has to tell you no all right now at one time before i used to say hey always say yes because i always try to say yes as much as possible because the times that you need to say no it carries more weight i used to think that way then i realized man bro i'm gonna go broke if i keep saying yes man and i actually got a little bit mature and a little bit wise and a little bit more disciplined with my money and that comes with age and, and you know life examples but let's just be honest women y'all need a good man to tell y'all no y'all really do and in a retro site, when y'all go down the line and y'all happy in a long lasting relationship, you're going to look back and be like, man, this man really kept me in check. Not the way I expected him to, but he kept you in check. Give me my phone. Said he texted you. Let me see my phone. Said he texted you. Irwin, let you me said, see my you're phone. You're a fucking cheater, dude. Dude, open it. Stop. Said he's dude. seven messages. What oh my God, bro. Give it to me. Dude. Now, y'all are really getting super creative out here, all right? You're cheating on your man, and under contacts, you put settings, all right? And you're trying to play it off like it's a normal phone notification, but guess what? Men ain't stupid, ladies. Stop it right there, all right? What kind of, what, what, how do you think, how long this was going to last for? How many settings do you get? How many settings alerts do you get a night? You surely ain't getting seven of them bad boys, let's be honest, all right? And settings don't text you. All right, especially at 1 a.m. talking about what you're doing. Settings don't do that. How do you think you was going to get away with that? Be honest. My guy, just keep it moving. Don't even read the messages, man. Don't even read the messages. You don't want to see what's in the messages. You know it's nothing good. Like, she's going out of her way to hide messages. So far that she actually named her sneaky link settings and even gave it a profile picture. You don't want to see what's in the messages, my guy. She's hiding messages. All of a sudden, she doesn't know the password to her own phone. Just just don't play them games, man. I know the betrayal's going to hurt. It's going to sting for a while. But you'll, you'll be all right. You'll, you'll, you'll heal. You know, you'll get over it. Just, just keep it moving, man. Don't read the messages. You already know what's up. Just keep it moving. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not a person that 
particularly likes to date people with kids mm -hmm. anyways. So mm -hmm. issues. Fair. It's very fair. It, so people always say, say that to me, like, that's not fair that's because not fair. you have yeah, kids, no, right? Come on. But the way I counter that <laughs> is, yes, I have kids, but I don't have that that dynamic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but, but I understand, but that's not fair. Right? It is. You because can't just ex somebody I'm out. telling you, I don't want to deal with you because of the drama. One thing I will never understand is a single mother who says she refuses to date a man with kids. Like, how does that even make sense? <laughs> Y'all come up with every reason in the world, better baby mama drama, don't want to be playing stepmommy, this, that, and the third. You didn't bring those kids into this world, you're not responsible for them. But in the same breath, you think that man is supposed to do that for you. And then if he doesn't want to do those things, if he doesn't want to accept you for the fact that you have children by multiple different men, he not a real man. The guys that they don't want to date, Women with kids, with kids either, because yeah. they feel like you know. Well, I'm saying, but they feel like, what is, what, why should I invest into that situation yeah. when it's not mine. my child? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So yeah. I understand what you say. You saying man, drama? Though. Well, I, let me let me pick the back <laughs> Yeah, tell That's me, not you know a man. break it down for me. Excuse me, but if we were to flip flop the genders and use your logic against you, wouldn't you not be considered a real woman? You're doing too much, <laughs> asking for too much. Yeah. You're unqualified. You're asking for something yeah. you can't even give yeah. yourself. Can we please stop with the double standards because it's getting ridiculous out here. Guess what? She's probably gonna find out the hard way, all right? When she keeps looking and keeps looking and is trying to find a guy, a single guy, that's gonna willing to give her, be willing to give her a shot. Let's just be honest. It's probably a, a guy here or there too might give her a shot because she looks good. You know, she might have some game or whatever. All right, give us it a shot and continues the date and just, it ends horribly because he comes to the conclusion that he doesn't want to be taking care of someone else's kids. All right, it's totally okay for you to date another man or a man with kids. People with kids that, that don't have any other options because they can't find single people to match up with, guess what? You're down to the next level, man. And the next level is you're gonna have to probably give it a shot with someone else with other kids. It's, being a, it's realism, right? That's reality right there. Try to see if that works out. Now, if you're a man and you got a lot of provisions and you're well off and you're established, I mean, I think the, the, the rules and the metrics works a little bit favor for you trying to find a single woman. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. A to, you know, by numbers alone, there's more women in the world. All right. I'm sure you're going to come across a single one. All right. That's going to give you a shot being no kids. All right. Just That's what? There's no line of men waiting to be a stepdaddy. There's lines of men waiting to f you. Yes. Yes. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of them. There's a line of men waiting to f on me. But there is not a line of men waiting to be great stepdads. I, I want to be the best stepdad ever. No. So although that may be her reality, y'all women, the average woman, y'all need to get that shit out y'all mind. Then you're going to sit on your behind and have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids. For what? Why? And then you want to cry and say you can't find a man. Oh, fucking core. I, I bet you can't. You don't need to be looking for a man, honey. You need to be looking for a babysitter. Like, you need to be looking for the best job that you could possibly find. And it, I'm, I'm not saying it is not possible because it is possible. I know women who have a lot of kids and they got a man. But it's not easy and it's not a line of men that's waiting to become step daddies. It's not. Honey keeping it real with y'all, man. Honey is keeping it real with y'all. And I think, I mean, a lot of people need to listen to some harsh reality because this is what it is, man. At what point in time will you start, like, just really think, man, I need to stop having kids after two. I'm not even married. I'm two for two. All right. That's bad. Uh, that's, that's, that's bad by every means. And then you have the third one. Then you have the fourth one, all right? You better hope that it's by the same guy because if even if y'all break up, y'all might have a small chance of getting back together and be, making it a family again. But man, if you three, four different guys, the struggle is hard out there. There's not a lot of guys that's saying like, oh, 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 damn, let me get those kids. Man, I got to drop this kid off over here for Christmas. This kid over uh, over here off for Thanksgiving. This kid gone. Bro, it, it becomes a challenge, man. And only the most loving and most patient people or guys oh, gonna be able to do that but like she said man that's a lot of hard work for you as a woman for you as for you as women to have that guy hook hook line and sinker
One day, it happens to be a boyfriend at the time's birthday. And I was with Old Head. On his birthday? On his birthday. Also, Girl. Old Head. <laughs> uh, boyfriend at the time, blowing my phone down. But we not cordial now, because, you know, I'm so focused on Old oh, Head. Yeah. I, I ain't worried about you. So he blowing my phone down or whatever. Old Head ended up texting boyfriend at the time. Stop texting her. She my bitch now. I didn't know he sent that text message. Kid you not, I did not know. From that moment, shit hit the fan. Oh, you with this man on that man's birthday? So I was playing it crazy. I'm like, okay, I can be with you early in the day. But why you ain't just see him the next day? Like, if you was gonna play it like that, you didn't keep it in pee. At all. I was, I thought I was being slick. You know, like, okay, I'm gonna spend time with you, and then I'm gonna go back to the house, and everything gonna be fine. No, we never made it to dinner. Oh my god, you ain't shit. You ain't, you ain't shit, bro. You disgusted and busted, bro. Like real talk. He thought you was slick, but you ain't slick enough. All right, and I'm glad he caught you. On any other day, you could have said no, have a little bit of self-restraint. But look, I'm sure, that, pretty sure you did this guy a favor and he's probably thinking in the back of his mind, like, damn, I'm glad this is over with because man, I could have been continue wasting my time with you, but you're showing your true colors, all right? Damn, you're gonna give away that man's birthday presents and that man's birthday cake to another man on his own birthday, damn. Who's that? Why you not answering your phone? It's my girl, dog. Answer it, I ain't gonna say nothing. Hello? Hello. What up, though? Who you with? Shit, nobody. So, so I'm a nobody now? Who the fuck is that? You said you were gonna say. Guys, if, a, if you have a side chick and she really wants to be with you, like really wants to be with you, she is gonna probably wind up getting feelings for you first. Before you as a man get feelings with her, she's probably gonna wanna get feelings with you. And then she's gonna start building probably resentment, seeing you go home to another woman and not her, her feeling lonely, and you know the pattern. You know the whole story from here. You don't think that eventually something's gonna bubble over and then come on out? Be careful, guys. I don't know the topic of conversations when they be talking about men paying all women bills. And men be like, okay, if I pay all the bills, what can you contribute? Because he can cook and clean up the house by himself. I be really trying to wonder, like, first of all, as a man, what can you contribute if I don't need you to pay my bills? Because ain't that the same question? You saying that you just contributing so much by paying bills that you should be paying anyway because you have to live somewhere. But what can you contribute if I don't need you to pay my bills? That's where a lot of y'all get stuck at. And I know this. Because if you not, when you start dealing with a woman that don't need you, but wants you, it's hard for her to be blinded by the things that you can do for her that she can already do for herself. You feel me what I'm saying? So that means that at that point, you pass the money situation, you're going to have to start having good character. Your principle is going to have to be right. Your heart is going to have to be in the right space. You're going to have to talk to her the right way. You're going to have to respect her and treat her the right way. You're going to have to present her the right way in the streets. Because in reality, those are the only things that you can give her that she can't give to herself. All right. Stop right there. Let's just go ahead and pause, man. It's a two-way street in this conversation. All right. She can't have kids without that man. All right. I'm sure she can find protection. But she's not going to get the leadership that you would find in being alone, not from, you know, with a man. You got you need a man for those to, uh, those certain sort of areas. Right. So when it comes to, hey, well, what can you do, even though I've doing been doing it myself, man, y'all can really make a come up together. And what a lot of people just don't realize and what I try to tell, you know, and coach, especially young people, young men, if they find someone that they really like. All right. Make it come up together, man. Make it come up together. All right. If you're paying all the bills, she need to be stacking, right? She need to be saving. She need to be paying off debt somewhere. So when it's your turn, you can be paying off debt. Or y'all just work it together and y'all can put toward getting a house, a vehicle, man, a small business, whatever it may be. Let it be a come up. Like let, that's that's really what y'all should be doing instead of trying to find out what other people what do you, what do you have. All right, it's gonna be some missing pieces to the components, and that's some things that you're gonna have to meet in the middle with. But if y'all are two really hardworking people that are getting along, really like one another, both have your own money, all right, and both are willing to commit to a serious relationship and stand on on character and virtues, make a come up. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I don't know what else to do. I'm tired of it. I'm tired. Mm. I 
I'm sick of it. I don't know what else to do, y'all. He keeps stealing my car. He keeps stealing my car. Like, for real, why? And then I get a phone call. And he either got caught. He either got caught. I'm tired of it, y'all. I'm tired. I don't know what else to do. But when I do catch them, I wait on my ride. And I reported the car stolen. I'm tired of it. If I got to do what I got to do, what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do. I ain't saving nobody today. Nobody. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. They just stole my car. I'm sick of it. I ain't got to go keep going through this with nobody. This man keeps stealing my car. Then my sister to call him in the car with some girl. I'm tired of it. I'm waiting on the police right now. I'm reporting the car stolen. I ain't spare nobody. I don't care if nobody children go to jail. If I don't care. I don't care. I'm tired of it. <laughs> this man keeps stealing my car. It's my baby daddy. He keeps stealing my car. I'm tired of it. Um, I hate to break it to you, but um, <laughs> you chose him. You chose him. You chose him. I don't know why Kevin Samuels in my mind right now. You chose him. That's your baby dad. That's your Pookie. That's your Ray Ray. If you're going to date and lay down with a man, that's your bed. You made it. All right. You messed it up. You got to deal with it. You got to lay in it. I'm going to just go ahead and say all this. And I know all the broke men are going to be mad, but this is not for y'all and ladies. Whatever you do, do not date a broke man. Do not date a broke man. Literally zero benefits. There's a reason why he's broke, and you will soon find out at the end of your expenses when he completes them and runs them dry. No benefit to dating a man that's broke. If he's broke and you love him, love him from a distance. If he's broke and you need him, leave that Negro right where he's at. Look, man, very sound advice. Very sound, very sound advice, man. I do have a small thing against bum ass dudes, and that's just me, cause there's a there was a part of my life where I had to work three times as hard as a normal guy just to make it. All right. Now, if you only have that type of hustle and grind in you, dog, uh, you know I don't know what to say, man. You're not gonna find a good girl, man. Just laying on the couch playing video games all day, dog. Shit ain't just gonna fall out the sky. So don't be a bum dude. Get your ass up and work, man. You're going to find you a good woman and good shit is going to start happening to you. Simple as that.